Oh, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, this is a special meeting, a special meeting for the trustees of uh, Village of Brown, Cook County, Illinois. Today is August 13, 2024. Um, we will um, with trustee uh, paper called the road in the absence of the clerk. Trustee Cap? Here. Trustee Hodges? Here. Trustee Grace? Trustee Greer, Trustee Richardson, Trustee Claiborne, here. And just know that Trustee Trustee Richardson is communicating by telephone. We have a quorum present. So we have to now vote an hour, so that's for the same. That's the plan. Um. Before we open the meeting to the public, if you have anything to say to the board, you will give us uh, your name and uh, please keep your comments to three minutes. And At this time, I will ask for a motion to open the meeting to the public. I motion to the motion to vote. The motion to vote by Trustee we have a second. Pledge of Allegiance. We don't have Pledge of Allegiance. No? I'm just asking. Okay. Um, I second it. Roll yeah. call. Okay. Trustee Cap. Here. Trustee Hodges. Yes. Trustee Garcia. Trustee Greer. Trustee Richardson. Trustee Richardson. Yes. Trustee Claybrook. Yes. Mayor Pope. Okay. You have a public comment? Yes. Uh, Maria Rosales, and I just wanted to know if you have considered uh, putting a budget to get, together to video record the meetings for YouTube or your website? You decide after me. <clears throat> okay, now the public comment. I, I, I do. I just like to say I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. Amen. Any other public comment? John, you're a vet. Too Come on, Mr. Mr. Polk. Any other public comment? Yes, I'm John Hyduke. Um, Trustee Cap, last time. Uh, Last meeting I was here, um, you, you said that Chicago was $37.2 million in debt. Well, you're the finance chairman of Burnham, not the finance chairman of Chicago. I was wondering what exactly is our current debt? Um, and have you given the auditor the police pension fund numbers for 2022 because they're waiting for it to complete the audit? Uh, Mr. Polk, a week or so ago I asked you why there was no uh, July 23rd meeting. You told me there wasn't one scheduled. Well, as I walked in here, I looked in the glass cabinet, and there was one scheduled. And I'm wondering, Mr. Attorney, is it legal for Burnham to be able to go and just not have a meeting without canceling it? Uh, and is it, is it illegal to just have a summer session without voting on it? Um, Next point, on May 1st, 2018, you all doubled our water rates, $8.50 per thousand gallons. A few weeks ago, I found out that also on May 1st, 2018, you all took away the senior exemption for the water, which was half off the water. A couple seniors showed me their bills. Um, you didn't announce it, you simply removed it from their bills. You did that and you added that $10 shirt tax to everybody's. And the seniors really got screwed in 2018. I found that a couple days ago, a couple weeks ago. Um, now today, you try to screw the kids and the staff with the schools in addition to what you did to the seniors in 2018. Uh, now finally, most of you probably don't know here, but at the next election, if Polk, Chavez, and the trustees that are running, if they win the election next April, Polk will get about a $6,300 raise. Chavez, about a $5,000 raise. That includes both salary and expense money. Mr. Polk, I don't know 
that much, but I do know that you're also the liquor commissioner. You're going to get a $300 raise for that. You're going to then be getting $3,000 as a, as a liquor commissioner for Burnham. So having said all that, you uh, what it comes down to in summary, you screw the seniors in the schools, but you give yourself raises. Um, we are literally little Dalton. In closing, I know you're voting tonight on that referendum for the taking away money from the, the schools, the local schools. Let's see who each and every one of you puppets vote for. The kids and the teachers and the staff or Mr. Polk. That's all I got. Thank you. Are there any other public comments? Yes. Um, I addressed this a while back. I live on Manistee Street and on 139. Anita Shaw. I live at 139.19 South Man Street. Um, across the street, the Gonzales have moved and asked for them to take the handicap blacker down. Someone has bought the house, but they're not parking in front of the house because the handicap blacker is there. Okay. And then I have one more question. How much do it cost to get one put in front of your house? Well, we don't have, uh, well, Okay, any other public comment? I'll ask for a motion to close the meeting to the public. Uh, I'll make a motion to close the meeting to the public. It's a motion for by Trustee Cap to close the meeting because we have a second. A second. A second by Trustee Hodges. He called it open. Trustee Cap? <laughs> yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Trustee Greer? Trustee Richardson? Trustee Clay Brooks, yes. Mayor yes. Yeah, thank you, meeting is not close uh, to the public. Thank you for your comment. Ms. Shaw, I start at the bottom and go up. Um, the um, the handicap sign I mean, will be removed. We'll have public works to remove that. And uh, we did mention that before. I guess it just was oversight on our part and we didn't do it already. Now, as far as um, I mean, selling signs, uh, of people purchasing the sign and going house. I mean, we don't have that in Burnham, and that really wouldn't work very well in Burnham. Uh, we got certain streets that um, there are virtually no side drives, and if we would allow people to do that, then a lot of people would not have any place to park. Uh, so that would just be, uh, you know. I mean, if you're disabled, aren't you eligible to get one put in front of your house? Well, if you're eligible, yeah. <coughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Um, What's the eligibility? As far as the raises go, mm. um, as far as the raises go, um, uh, the raises were bumped up some. And as far as the election goes, uh, um, if for some reason that the current people did not win the election in April, then the raises would go to who would win. Would you repeal I mean, them secondly, based on our financial problems? I mean, secondly, um, um, no. And the third thing was about the, the website and the uh, and the YouTube. I'm not exactly sure what the clarification was on that. Uh, I didn't say nothing about that. About, about the budget for that. If it, if you have considered putting a budget together, we have not. We have not talked about it. We never even brought it up. Okay. Take it for an expense account. Yeah, the thirty-eight million was how far behind Chicago was with their pension fund. By the way, it was thirty-eight million. 38. But you can't tell us what ours is. But you won't. Why are you not? Don't you have anything I, to say? I can't. I can't. Off the top of my head, I can't. Then how do you guys operate Burnham? You're the finance chairman. Okay, so we will. Could you look at me, John, and not have Pope when you talk? We'll move on. We'll move on. Um, we're not here to be argumentative. That's no, the, just asking uh, questions, uh, and I haven't had an answer. Uh, Mr. Polk, would you repeal them raises, though, so nobody gets them because we're having financial problems? Um, so nobody gets them? <laughs> and right now, the public comments are closed. I know, but you don't talk to me when it's open. I'm not being rude. I consider you that. Okay, proceed. Uh, Trust your claim when you take no more. 
discussion of, consideration of, and taking action to adopt or not adopt the resolution 2024-R-006, a resolution calling for the submission of a public policy question to the electors of the village of Burnham, Cook County, Illinois, at the November, November 5th, 2024 general election to determine if the village of Burnham should pass a resolution urging the state of Illinois to pass legislation to reduce the tax property percentage homeowners pay and to public schools in an effort to lift the heavy tax burden off of South Suburban homeowners. And for me to clarify that, I'm um, actually what it should be in the classification because it, it sounds pretty explicit to me. The purpose of that is to pass the resolution and we would, um, this would uh, encourage the state of Illinois to increase more funding for the school and it would be less of a burden for the taxpayer. That's the purpose of it. It's not taking it. We're not taking anything from the school. We don't have the authority to do that. Why is that so hard to understand? See. Next time, write it that way. Proceed. I make a motion to adopt the resolution 2024-006, a resolution calling for the submission of a public policy question to the electors of the village of Burnham, Cook County, Illinois, at the November 5th, 2024 general election to determine if the village of Burnham should pass a resolution urging the state of Illinois to pass legislation to reduce the tax property percentage homeowners pay into public schools in an effort to lift the heavy tax burden off of South Suburban homeowners. Trustee Taylor has made a motion to approve the resolution number 2044 that's RL006. I'll second it. Trustee Cap? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Trustee Greer? Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claybrooks? Yes. Okay, next one, proceed Discussion of, consideration of, and taking action to adopt or not adopt the resolution 2024-R-007, a resolution calling for the submission of a public policy question to the electors of the village of Burnham, Cook County, Illinois at the November 5th, 2024 general election to determine whether the village of Burnham should pass, pass a resolution urging the state of Illinois to continue its firework ban. So again, the reason for this is to uh, send some advice to the uh, state officials that, you know, there's, a, there's some interest in Springfield and they want to make fireworks legal in Illinois that would be too much of a safety hazard of very many people. We had a couple of fires already. You know, people are saying people look for that. Fire fire. 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 So you can be urging them to keep it hidden me the way it is. Of course, you still going to have some people shooting them, but it's a lot less. I make a motion to adopt the resolution 2024-R-007, a resolution calling for the submission of a public policy question to the electors of the village of Burnham, Cook County, Illinois, at the November 5th, 2024 general election to determine whether the village of Burnham should pass a resolution urging the state of Illinois to continue its firework ban. May a motion. I'll second. 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 Trustee Cap? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Trustee Greer? Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claybrooks? Yes. Give me a yes. What is a Trustee Cap when you take number three? Discussion of consideration of and taking action, adopt or not adopt, there is a Resolution 2024-R008, a resolution calling for the submission of a public policy question to the electors of the Village of Burn, Cook County, Illinois, at the November 5th, 2024 general election to determine whether the Village of Burnham should ban semi-trailer tr uh, trucks, boat, car trailers, and tow trucks from parking on residential streets. So you make a motion? Explain what it is, John. I'll make a motion to uh, 
adopt the resolution 2024-R-008, a resolution calling for the submission of a public policy question to the electors of the village of Burnham, Cook County, Illinois, at the November 5th, 2024 general election to determine whether the village of Burnham should ban semi-trailer truck, boat, car trailers, and tow trucks from parking on residential streets. So there's a motion on the floor by Trustee Cap to approve the resolution number 2024-R008. Could we have a second, please? A second. A second by Trustee Hodges. Can you please call the roll? Trustee Cap. Yes. Trustee Hodges. Yes. Trustee Garcia. Trustee Greer. Trustee Richardson. Yes. Trustee Claybrooks. Yes. And may I oppose motion? Yes. I trust you can't be taking them before. Okay. Reminder that the president and the board of trustees meetings for the village of Burnham are in summer session until September 24, 2024. I make a motion that we uh, remind everybody that we're in summer um, session, summer recess until September 24, 2024. Unless, I mean, unless there's a reason to call a special meeting. Mm -hmm. We do have a concrete. Uh, contract will be coming up so i'm not really sure when that's going to come up but in the event otherwise otherwise it'll be september 24. but you can make a motion oh i make a motion that if we remind everyone that we're in summer session until september 24 2024. yeah if, 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 uh, we make a motion just for food so it can be part of the minutes so everybody will so you make the motion i made a motion Trustee Cap? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claybrooks? Yes. Mayor Pope? Yes. And I've asked for a motion to adjourn. Uh, before we adjourn, man, can I just say yes. one thing? Um, I have, I have a, a flyer for pre-apprenticeship pre construction training. It's a free for those who qualify. Um, it's an 815 number in Rockford. Also, it's a 312 for Chicago. It has different trades, boilermaker, bricklayer, sheet metal worker, carpenter, electrician. There's about 10 of them on here. And um, it's a pre-apprenticeship, 250-hour construction training program that will provide students with an introduction to craft skills and use practice in the construction industry. Um, if anyone wants one, stay up here. That's all. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I got, I got one more thing. The Burnham restaurants, um, we still have some little bags left because we know school's getting started this week and coming up weeks. We really need some uh, school supplies with that. Please let us know. We may have some left. Just give me a call. And also, uh, we're going to have some, uh, some lunch, I mean, some breakfast. Uh, Packages for the kids, for the youth. I think mm -hmm. they'll have 125, I believe. So yep. we can probably pass those out toward the end of the month. So, so we just have to uh, make sure we get them out for the kids. So I ask for a motion to adjourn. To make a motion to adjourn. I the motion was made in the second by Trustee Claybrook. I mean, but, uh, the motion was made by Trustee Claybrook. Yeah, because we have a second. I'll say. The second. The second. Put it, take it roll. Trustee Cap? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Trustee Greer? Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claybrooks? Yes. And we have hope both yes. Thank you. The meeting is adjourned and thank you for coming. Thank you.